Hello, my name is Grant Kramer, and I'm a professor emeritus at the University of Nevada, Reno. Today we will be continuing my series on grapevine varietals, Pinot Blanc, the ninth video in this series, with many more to come. I hope you enjoy it. Pinot Blanc. Pinot Blanc is a white wine that is thought to have originated from the northeast of France or the southwest of Germany several hundred years ago because it's a color mutation of Pinot Noir, which is originated from that area. Now, it was one time thought that Pinot Blanc was originally a mutant of Pinot Gris. However, it's been clearly established by Claudio Moser's group in Italy through a very comprehensive genetic analysis to show, as you can see down here in the lower figure, the Pinot Noir grape cluster was an independent mutation of the Pinot Noir into the Pinot Blanc white grape. Now, Pinot Gris is sort of an in-between. It's another color mutation. However, the mutations were different when analyzed genetically. It's possible that Pinot Gris can produce white grapes, but it's from a different independent mutation than that of the Pinot Blanc. And this has been verified in a number of different clones of both Pinot Gris and Pinot Blanc. Some synonyms for Pinot Blanc are Fair Burgundy, Klevner, Pinot Bianco, Weissburgunder, etc. And its common locations, popular locations, are in France, in Germany, Hungary and Austria, and Italy, so mostly Europe. But it's also fairly well planted in the USA, particularly in California. Pinot Blanc is very, very similar to all the Pinot varieties. They all have similar characteristics in which they like a cooler climate. So here on the right, you can see Pinot Gris and Pinot Noir as some of the more cool climate grape varieties and Pinot Blanc falls within this category. It has moderate cold hardiness, very similar to Pinot Noir, and it produces its best grapes in cool days and cool nights. So Pinot Blanc has moderate vigor. Again, these characteristics are very, very similar to Pinot Noir. The leaves have three to five shallow lobes. They have moderately deep U-shaped petiolar sinuses, which have sometimes overlapping lobes, as you can see down here in the figure on the leaves. And it has a tooth margin. One important distinction here is that the shoot tips are not hairy, as we'll see later on in the next video on Pinot Meunier. Clusters are tight, pine cone shaped, similar to Pinot Noir. The berry color here is green to greenish yellow. The berries are round. The reason the grapes are green and not red is because they have gene interruption by mutation. And gene, that's a transcription factor that produces the anthocyanins, which are the red colors that you find in the grape skins. The production characteristics are moderate yields. They grow in a vertical shoot positioning system. Again, like Pinot Noir, they have a relatively early bud break and ripening. And at Valley Road Experiment Station, we found very similar conditions to all the Pinots in which they all bud break about within a day or two of each other, the beginning of May or even the end of April to mid-September or the first week in October. So for approximately 150 day long season. The Brixes range from about 21 to 24 and the TAs range from about five to 6.5. So a little bit low on the acidity. Pinot Blanc can have aromas of apple, pear, peach, almond, and mineral components. The wines are white in color the wines can vary in sweetness depending on the fermentation by the winemaker. Generally, these wines are made dry. Wines can be light to full-bodied. They can have acidity in some of the European wines, but in our northern Nevada regions, the wines were soft with low acidity, and the grapes or the wines were not particularly aromatic, although they did have some fruit character to them. 
There are less than 10 clones at the foundation plant services that are listed as registered clones. There are not very many clones relative to some of the other Pinot varieties. So in summary, Pinot Blanc potential for Northern Nevada is moderate, similar to the other Pinot varieties. I would rank this the lowest of the Pinot varieties in our Northern Nevada region based upon its wine characteristics. It was just less distinct than some of the other Pinot varieties. It has early bud break and early ripening. It is moderately productive with moderate cold hardiness, and it produces its best wines from cool climate regions. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, then I suggest that you subscribe to my YouTube video channel where there are many more videos like this one. Have a great day.